So out of the initial node here, we're putting in the control flow that says we go right to combust fuel. And there we have the uh, inputs and outputs for the combust fuel action node. So as we look at this, we realize that we, the fuel needs to come from somewhere. So let's back up and let's go to the prepare grill. And we're going to go ahead and decompose this in a similar way. So we're going to go ahead and create an activity diagram here. And we're going to create a, another function here called load fuel. And it's going to basically take food in, or take fuel in and send fuel out. So we're going to, we will go ahead and take this and create an in out for fuel. So we'll take load fuel here as one of our steps. So we're going to start with the initial node here. We'll go to the load fuel and we're going to sort of cheat here and we're going to create a data store node to basic or an object node and basically show that we have fuel somewhere here. And we'll call this fuel storage. And this is going to have an object flow into fuel. And the fuel out of here is going to be an object flow into ready fuel storage. So this would be like taking like charcoal out of the uh, bag in your garage and putting it into uh, the grill itself or into a hopper, that sort of thing. So notice we have the name, and then we have a colon, and then we have the type. So we now have ready fuel storage. So I've decided that cleaning the grill should be part of the preparing grill activity diagram. So I'm just going to drag on that operation. Notice it has no inputs or outputs except for the target, which again, I typically don't use. So I just hit control D to delete it. But we need to show that these both have to happen before we're complete. And so we're going to take a fork here, which means that it basically splits the flow. And so I'm going to drag it on here and, uh, drag it onto the flow and it's going to say split it and now you'll notice that this is split and so I can now split the object flow like that and auto arrange it and you'll see that the tokens get passed from the initial node here one comes to clean grill one goes to load fuel we need to show that both of these have to happen before we exit and so I'm going to go ahead and put a join here which basically means that both of these things have to come have to happen before we're complete we seem to have lost our final node somehow too so I will uh, fix that so the clean grill is going to have a logic flow or control flow into this as does the load fuel and I'm going to click on this the control flow out and I'm going to right click and it gives me a bunch of choices it's pretty smart about that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick my activity final. And so we now have the nicely formed activity diagram here where the control comes in and splits. Clean grill has to happen before it sends its token out. Load fuel has to happen before it sends its token. Both of those have to complete before this is considered completed. And we've moved fuel from fuel storage into the ready fuel storage.